In today's episode, I'm going to give you a new update on where we are with our PPF, vinyl wrap, and tent services and kind of break down how we're generating leads now and what our plans are to book in those leads into our calendar. And if you are just getting started with your detailing business, I highly recommend you download the ultimate guide to start your detailing business. You can find it down in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube or in the show notes. It has over 10,000 words of pure content to help you start and grow your business. Let's go ahead and get started with this episode. Welcome back to the Detailing Business Class Podcast, where you'll learn proven tactics and strategies on sales, marketing, and operations to grow your business. I'm your host, Oscar Gill, and my goal is to elevate you as a detailer and business owner to the next level. And welcome back to a new episode. Glad to have you here. Today is a solo episode, as you can tell. And I'll give you a, 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 an update on how we're progressing with our two new services that we're, that we're offering, which is the um, paint protection film, PPF, and then the vinyl wrap services. Um, I, I've done a series so far from when we first thought about launching it to sending Andrew to training. So um, if this is your first time listening to this, I've been documenting it both on YouTube and on, on, uh, on the podcast um, of how we've been progressing so uh, today is more so on like the marketing and how we're actually going to schedule jobs on the calendar. So as of right now with our PPF services, right? So Angel has gone to get trained. Um, we have created a page on our website to optimize, to rank organically. Um, and we are, we also have done a, a vinyl wrap page on our website to rank organically in Google. And we're also running ads right now to vinyl wrap services. So we did a few major but subtle changes to our website. The one is at, um, and again, this is like, if, if, you, if you're brand new to SEO marketing website, this might go over your head. It's fine. Just, just stick with me here. Um, and again, this is all like thoroughly covered inside the course SEO for detailers. So on the, um, for the homepage of our website, we initially had it, like for the longest, we had it for, we were, we were targeting car, the keyword car detailing. Um, so the change that we made was we're now specifically targeting ceramic coating and paint protection film. So that's our main target for our homepage. And again, o- over time, not right now, because I just made it, I just did those changes maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, so over time, that's going to change. Um we added the vinyl wrap and PPF services to the homepage as well. So it's like it, 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 like two weeks ago, if you'd go to our website, you would think you would look at the website and say, okay, okay, they're detailers. They offer paint correction, interior cleaning, um, uh, paint correction, uh, smoke oil removal. If you go to our website now, you would think, oh, okay, they do PPF, ceramic coating, and vinyl wrap services. So it, it's more of like a it's more like an auto salon, not so much just detailing anymore. So we're trying to position the website a bit differently now, uh, as far as all I get this, this, this company, this, this brand is like, they offer a, a much higher tiered services than just being a detailer. Because at this point, yeah, it, it's like, and, and now I actually created another page for 10 services. It's not optimized yet, but I did create it and I am going to optimize it. But if we are going to start, you know, I mean, we're doing PPF vinyl wrap services now and we're going to add tint. So like, Maybe in the future, we might change it to like auto salon and not just detailing because it just, that, that actually kind of goes a lot more in line with what we do, right? If you hear like auto salon, it's like, okay, they're doing more than just, or I'm sorry, not auto salon. That, that's not the name. I'm sorry. Uh, auto solutions. That, that would be our name. Auto solutions. Um, that kind of encapsulates more services than just detailing. Um, because yeah, like we want to make sure like, we're, we're, we're like a higher tiered brand and it's like, oh yeah, if you go to them, like it's going to be expensive. So anyways, that's what we have going with the homepage. Um, on the, the vinyl wrap, uh, I mentioned it in the last episode. The reason why we're, we're primarily targeting, targeting vinyl wrap services right now is because we can do that right now. Um, there's no restrictions or training or, or, or anything that you have to go through to go order um, 3M1080 or 3M2080 or uh, Avery or even Vivid from uh, if you wanted to or you know Cheetah or whatever like you can just order those wraps now and start wrapping. 
So um, that's why we're, we're, we're running ads for vinyl wrap services right now. Um, the problem with PPF is that we could bulk install some things without a plotter, right? Um, but there are just some things that like uh, it, it, life would be much easier if you have a plotter. And depending on what the customer wants or what vehicle they have, doing a bulk install is just like not really ideal. Um, not only that, but like a plotter would make your life a lot easier. Now, that being said, I think like some plotters run between like five to eight thousand dollars, not including the price of the subscription. Um, so that in itself has already uh, like a hurdle, right? Like, do you want to spend seven thousand dollars on a plotter? Right. Uh, not including the price of the film. So we're looking at, like I said, we've, we've signed up with um, Optical for their film, but we're also thinking about going with Lumor because they have, obviously, PPF, they have Tint, which with that one, like, uh, as per what they told me, if I just wanted to add Tint, like, there's no, I don't have to go get trained. Or, like, you just order Tint and they, and they send you the Tint. Um, so we have that. Um, and then uh, they also have a plotter as well and, and the software. Um, so we, we might go with them as well just to be able to, like, start offering PPF now because... Um, that leads me to my next point of like, we're actually generating leads right now for PPF. Um, we had a, I forgot the name of the vehicle. It's a, it's a, it's a new 2023 vehicle, iconic five, Equonic, iconic five, um, something like that. Um, that wanted a full P, uh, uh, what is it? A matte gray or something, something gray, uh, PPF. Um, we had a Porsche Cayman wanting a front end PPF, um, We've had, uh, that's for PPF. We had a, 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 a Jeep Wrangler want a full vinyl wrap. We've had someone request their four doors on their Jeep, another Jeep Wrangler wrapped. So the leads are actually being generated. And, and it's, fan, it's fantastic to see because, um, again, again like I, I've mentioned this in a lot of other episodes. Like if you understand how to market your services, if you, if you have the skill to, push and pull the levers to generate more leads, generate more customers and to make more money. Like you are in control of your business. Right. So like, again, like that's why, um, when we're doing, um, um, vinyl wrap, uh, when we started offering vinyl wrap PPF and here soon tint, it's like, I already, I already knew the game plan on what we need to do to generate leads. Right. That's why I say like, if, if I want to go and, and, and I started a plumbing business, a, a chiropractor, if I went and started an accounting firm, if I went to go and start a, uh, or I worked at a dental practice, or I went to a, a law firm. Like I, I would know the strategy to get them more customers, more leads, more patients, more whatever. Because it's like it, it's just, it, it's marketing, right? Whether you put me in, you know, accounting or a law firm, like it's the same principles, right? It, it, there's there's different types of marketing um, to generate lead and sales. So um, so so it's very fun and, and cool to see like oh snap look we have another lead for or PPF oh snap look he's another lead for 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 vinyl wrap. Um, and, and none of the customers or leads have booked yet. Um, I want to be clear on that just because I don't, I don't want to make it seem like, Oh, dang, they're, they're just booking all these jobs already. No, these are just leads so far. None, none of them have actually booked into the calendar yet. But aside from that, from that, it's like, it, it's good to start having these conversations though. Like it, it, it's great to see that we have customers walking in saying, Hey, like, um, you know, I, I'd like to get some information on some vinyl wrap services. Hey, you know, can I get some information on PPF, even though they haven't booked, right? We, st we still need to start having these conversations and we need to start seeing like, okay, so what, what questions do customers have about PPF, about vinyl wrap? What's the process going to look like? Um, you know, what information do we need to go over? Um, how do we, how do we, t how do, we uh, do some, 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 some tiered pricing to make sure they're getting, you know, we have like two or three options that best fit their, their, their needs. Um, so, and it's like anything, when I say we haven't booked anyone, it, it doesn't mean like the quality of the lead isn't there or, or we're doing a bad job. It's like anything like if we get 10, you know, leads for details are often going to book. No, maybe, maybe two, maybe four, right. Depending on the price and all that. Um, so eventually one of the leads, that, uh, one of the leads that come in are going to book. Right. And the cool thing is that we're having conversations now of saying, um, you know, Hey, that's going to be $2,500 for the front end. Hey, if you want the whole vehicle, that's going to be 6,000. Hey, for the, the vinyl wrap on, whatever vehicle that was, it's going to be 4,500. It's going to be 5,000. So, so it's great to just have these conversations and, and to get these little, um, kind of warm up conversations if you want to like start getting used to saying, Oh yeah, that'd be 6,000. Oh yeah, that'd be 4,000. Oh yeah, that'd be 3,000. Because obviously we've had a few, uh, details. Well, not a few, but we have details here that, that run over a thousand dollars. Um, you know, corrections and codings, those can go, you know, well over a thousand pretty easily. 
But, um, you know, this is a different service, a different field, so to speak. So it's like it's good to get those reps in and say, oh, yeah, it's right. So, so like, you know, here's how we here's how we kind of lay out the, the service. Here's how we explain it. Uh, here's a price point. So we're, we're it's getting reps in. Like you need to focus on getting reps. Um, so the next big obstacle for uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, another great example of uh, seeing the potential in PPF and, and, and vinyl was actually this past weekend on Saturday. Um, we had a uh, we had our first well not our first I shouldn't say that we had another vinyl wrap customer that we serviced on Saturday. It was a roof wrap on a Nissan Maxima or Altima, and that was three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, and we used some uh, a gloss black three M twenty eighty uh film. And I think in total probably took Angel and, and Lex, um, primarily Angel, he's like the main installer. Um, it took maybe like an hour and a half to install it now, which is great because like obviously we, we paid for the, for the film, but that was $350 for literally an hour and a half of work. And if you kind of break it down, it's like, what other service could you do for de- like in detailing wise that would... Be three hundred and fifty dollars for just for just an hour and a half of work, and the thing with this work is like it's not like we broke a sweat, right? It's not like detailing to where it's like oh you're sweating, you're getting up and down and bending over and whatever. Like it, it, it was pretty relatively straightforward. And when we when we had a walk in come in, um, uh, that same day on Saturday, Saturday, we they came in for a, a, a wash and wax on their on their Corolla, and they asked us, hey, what else do you, what else do you guys do here? And we said we do whatever, and then we do PPF and vinyl. And they're like, oh, you do vinyl. Oh, can I get a quote to get my four Jeep Wrangler doors wrapped? And we quoted him $1,300. But it, it just, it, like that day specifically, it's like, for one, like seeing seeing us do that job in an hour and a half, it's like, oh man, that was like, we can knock like four of these out easily in like half a day. And it's like, for $350? Like, that's crazy. Um and then when we had the walk-in, that, that that's originally a two hundred and twenty dollar service, right? But because we now are, are are now offering PPF or vinyl, this person also inquired for vinyl, and the quote jumped up to thirteen hundred dollars. So it's initially like, oh, just you know, a, a simple, very everyday two hundred twenty dollar service jumps up to now thirteen hundred dollars because we're offering vinyl wrap services. Um, and that same day as well, we had another PPF lead come in. Um, to get the uh, front end installed on an Audi A7 or something like that. And again, it's it just one of those things like, I never say any of those are going to book, but it's just cool to see those reps come in. Like as far as like, okay, look, there's another lead. Okay, let's respond. Okay, let's think about what the price is. Okay, let's think about how we're going to do this. Um, so it, it's just great to see like the progress happening um, with Vinyl Wrap and PPF. I remember I, I asked uh, Lex, uh, Lex, I'm sorry, I asked Angel um, maybe two, three months ago, I was like, how long do you think it's going to take for us to get the the PPF and, and vinyl wrap services uh, up and going? And he said nine, nine months. My voice is cracked. Um, he said nine months for us to like get everything up and running with PPF and vinyl. And I looked at him. I was like, Angel, nine months? Do you think it's going to take us nine months to get everything up and running? Uh, I think yeah, I think this was actually like in March or April. I was like, bro, you're telling me in January or February of next year is when we'll, is when we'll book our first customer? And he thought about it. He's like, yeah, no, that, that's too long. I was like, bro, more like three or four months, you know? And again, like I, I, I've been saying this a lot. It's like you need repetitions. You need to get more experience. Like if, if you can get 10 cars in six months or 10 cars in one month, which one do you think you're going to learn faster? You're going to get more experience. You're going to get more confidence. You're going to be more comfortable. Like you just need to get more reps. So uh, with the leads that we're generating, it's like, I, I know for sure, not all of them are going to book. It's it's going to take a while for us to land our first PPF job or our first vinyl rep. But it's like, we need to get more reps. We need to talk to more people. We want to see what they're saying, what they're asking, what are their needs, what are their concerns, what, like, what do they want, what are their objections, why, you know, like, we need to start getting all these reps in because the faster we can condense or the, the quicker we can condense all these reps, the faster we're going to move. So again, like, and I keep on going back to that with Angel. Like, remember he said nine months? I was like, dude, like, heck no. Like, that's, you know, like, that's that's far too long. Um, But could it have taken nine months? A hundred percent yes, right? Um, You know, like, if, if I was, you know, it could have easily taken nine months. If I would have waited for training, if I would have waited to select a supplier, if I would have just sat on it longer 
pause on, um, you know, if we should do it or not. Right. But as soon as we said yes with vinyl, I, I think within the within the two weeks that we said, OK, yeah, let's let's start doing this. Right. Like, let's go and start doing stuff. I created the vinyl rap page on our website and I published it. Um, maybe like a week later, I published the PPF page on our website. Again, I, not that even not that we're going to service customers because we didn't we didn't even have skills yet. We didn't know anything back then. But since I know we're going to at some point offer that service, I was like, all right, I'm going to start marketing it because at some point we need to start getting customers and I'm going to start doing that now, not in four or five, six months from now, right? If, you, if, you're, if you're ready to offer services and you're ready to get customers and that's the time you start to get customers, you, you start to market your service to get customers, it's already too late. Not that it's too late, but like if you know it's going to take you six to eight months to offer PPF, let's say, well, then you need, to start off, you need to start marketing the PPF now. That way, in six to eight months, once you're actually ready to offer that service, the ball's already rolling with generating leads and sales. So, again, that's why with the same thing with Tint, like, we have no Tint. None of us has installed Tint. Like, we, we know we're not, we're not, we don't know the process, but I'm going to start marketing it. I'm going to put it on the website. I'm going to link it everywhere just because I know if we are going to offer in the service, if we're going to offer the service later in the, down the, in the future, I want to make sure we're already marketing the services. That way we're, we're building momentum. Um, and again, like, this is the power of knowing how to market your services. It, like this isn't, um, like I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not putting all my, my hopes and dreams into saying, okay, well, I hope we get more customers. I hope this works. I hope that, you know, I hope that the, the ceramic coating company that I work with is going to send me leads. I hope that the uh, uh, PPF uh, brand that I'm working uh, with is going to send me leads. Like, no, like that's why I don't, I always tell you, like, don't put any value in a brand, right? If, if you're an authorized installer, if you're an authorized dealer for PPF, like, and you're like, oh, well, they're going to send me leads. Oh, no, it's because, you know, we're using them because of, because of brand recognition. No, it's not. Like, when I see other detailers or, or, or anyone, like in any, in any field, it's like when they have a brand all over their business. And you see this a lot in, uh, in PPF where they'll have like uh, XPEL, 3M, and it's like plastered all over the, their, their shop or, or, or their, their website or they have, you know, banners everywhere. It's like, I'm not like, with whatever brand that we go with, I'm not putting up their, their branding on our shop or on our website. Why? Because I, I'm not putting the value of what we do into the brand that we bought. We are the provider as far as the service provider. We are the professionals. We're the ones that know what we're doing. The customer doesn't care or, or even know anything about what brand it is, right? Like, do you think most people here on planet Earth know the brand Apple? Probably so, right? How many people actually know how Apple works on the hardware and software side? Nothing, you know? So it's like it, it doesn't take much to like explain to the customer like why this film is good without the, without having it like over uh kind of like over not over dramatized but like you are the professional you know what you're doing and when I see like other brand uh, other detailers and such like just like completely just like be super not even loyal but like just throw everything to this, to this brand. Oh, well we have this and then their banner and their website and we have their logo on, on our shirt. It's like, dude, like, I, no, you have to learn the proper skills to market because like, and some brands, right. That kind of force you to only use their film, to only use their coding, to only use whatever. What if they go out of business? Right. What if all this like, Oh, like, you know, uh, you know, I, I like working with this brand because um, brand recognition because they, they send me leads because they push the industry forward. What if, what if they go out of business? What if they kick you out of the dealer uh, network because you're now five miles within a bigger shop or something? Like uh, you know, maybe there's a bigger shop that grows too big and now they have to remove someone out of their out of their market. What if um you know what 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 if they just change some internal policy and it's like yeah hey man like you're gonna be out of our dealer network now and you're like well I've been with y'all for 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 six years like, I'm sorry this is just you know new policy has been updated, uh, in six months, you'll be removed from the program. Right. And it's like, and then what, you know, um, which is why again, like I said, like whatever you do, detailing PPF, whatever it is, like you are the professional, you're the one that can generate the lead. You're the one that can grow your business. You are in control and responsible for all of that. No other brand, no matter how big, how small, what they claim, what they, whatever, like 
regardless of any of that, if you want more leads, if you want more customers, if you want to make more money, if you want to grow, that's 110% absolutely up to you and no one else. Okay, so I'll end it right there. Hopefully that gave you an update on where we are with vinyl wrap ppf and here eventually tint so again uh, if you follow me on youtube if you continue to listen to these podcast episodes if you follow me on instagram um I'm, i literally share like bits and pieces of everything everywhere so it's kind of hard to tell you like what's the best way but like I, I try to share everywhere just because i know there's different people listening on different platforms and um i'd say probably instagram is the easiest one to keep up with me uh through stories because it's just i just talk to the camera and it's like it's kind of live updating versus uh youtube and 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 uh the podcast where I have to wait for the next video. And, you know, by the, by the time I post that video, something else might have happened. Whereas on Instagram, I just kind of talk to the, to the camera the entire time. So anyways, thank you very much. I'll talk to you on the next one.